And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part three of our sub battle stream. As y'all know, this is our monthly sub battle Saturday that we do a fun event where I play against subscribers all day. I have a different deck that I play every round, play against a different subscriber. They bring their sweet brews also. It's just a good fun time. We get to see a lot of different card interactions that you don't normally see. For more, hope you checked out parts one and two, especially part one, I kind of describe it a little more. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and continue on. Right now, I have just been on fire, been winning a lot of matches, but we have uh, Beardley's gonna be up next to to uh, try out. And we're playing Historic. So let's let's play some Historic. So I'm gonna, I have a wheel that I spin to pick out which deck. We have a wheel for Standard, wheel for Historic. We have been playing all Standard. This is our first time playing Historic, so let's spin this wheel. I only have eight historic decks. Let's see which one we're going to be playing. All right, mono green elves. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to challenge match best of three. And let's look for mono green elves in historic. All right, here's our deck. This deck's a lot of fun. It's just, this is good old elf ball. Just trying to get lots of lots of mana, lots of power into play. Good old elf ball here. This is a fun one. All right, here we go. Am I planning on getting into Pioneer? Not really. Um, until, like, eventually, like, basically, I, I just like playing Arena. And... Eventually, they did say in the, the like the last update, whenever they're talking about historic, they do plan on eventually having Pioneer on Arena. And at that point, I'll be getting into Pioneer and everything. Um, you know, it's unclear how long, how far away that is. But yeah, so at that point, I'll be getting into Pioneer. All right, Steel Overseer. Ornithopter into Steel Overseer. This is like modern affinity here. That thing's going to hurt. I think we're going to lose this game. We're both just... decks that don't really interact too much that's... Um, but then with, with Steel Overseer on the play, the quarter one, I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this one for us. Yeah. Y'all are, um, y'all are supposed to vote for, or, uh, root for team chat. So it's all good that y'all are. Be excited about this win. Because I don't know how I'm going to stop this Ornithopter. I don't think I can. Oh no! I definitely need Marwin. I definitely need Marwin. All right, yeah, that's definitely that's game. <laughs> what? These things aren't banned in historic. 
All right, so I need my Reclamation Sages. And that's kind of about it. I don't think I really need any of these things. We're going to cut two Druids and a Visionary. Okay. No, I think we can use Veil. It was just kind of had that thing because it was banned, but it it will you know it let me put it in the deck. I was kind of I was checking that out. Ugh. Well, if my opponent has the same hand, we're losing. I don't think I mulligan down again though. Hey, Joe. So it's going great. And Pitch. Good evening from Portugal. I'm really hoping no Steel Overseer. Really hoping no Steel Overseer and no All That Glitters. Those are the two cards. That I do not want to see. Alright, that's a good sign. some one ones this is something you can do at instant speed so there's not really like barely doesn't need to be doing this right now you can do this at end step it doesn't really matter here you know like I don't have like the interaction for it oh no steel overseer uh I need to find Rex Age. Cause yeah, like maybe I play the two three and then they don't do that. Alright, gonna look for Rex Age. Look at the top five. Ooh, found it. It was kinda unfortunate I just put four. I mean, I can't complain because we found Rex Age. But I did just put four elves down to the bottom. Also, so we may flood out here. Yeah, my yeah, they're my yeah. Uh, Beardley's not looking at my hand. That was a good turn. So they can recast Glass Casket and Steel Overseer, but probably too slow now. Hmm.
I'm not sure if I want to salmon or not. Yeah, I probably need to salmon it. Alright, we're gonna salmon. Yeah. Initiate. You are not worthy. Deceit will never be rewarded. All sorts of mana. Elf ball. Elf ball. That's some good elf balling right there. <laughs> yeah, it can get out of control in a hurry, that's for sure. What's the name of this deck? Mono Green Elves. Um, yeah, I have a couple of videos on the YouTube channel, especially if you can go over to the Historic tab, because it's a Historic deck. Like, there's a playlist. Like, there's a playlist for Historic. I've I've played this deck twice, once in best of three and once in best of one. <laughs> yeah, that's what Marwyn does, is gives you so much mana, because you get to add mana equal to its power. Okay. On the draw for game three... Let's play a druid and take out a banner. Elf ball. <laughs> the elves be ballin'. Alright, well I got turn three banner. And then go from there. And then turn four, we can activate castle, get that extra mana. Mm. Beardley's on a five card hand too, and my, my hand's really good. That's unfortunate. So I have the option of either playing Banner next turn or just activating Castle, getting six mana, and then going Beast Whisper or Elvish Clan Caller. You know, that is just spending six mana instead of spending five. But I think it's the best to have the banner in play immediately. Uh, maybe I should go Beast Whisper Paradise Druid, and then I can add more mana. No, I'm just getting the banner in play. Click it. The, yeah, the, the dragon does a, a couple of different things. Breathes fire like that. If you see, if you put the mouse next to him, he's like he whaps it away and everything. He'll also do like a, a little bit of flying. That's basically it. There's a little dance in. Hey, Hawkeye. You want to come up here? How are you doing? Hawkeye. All 
All right, Beast Whisperer, draw. Paradise Druid, draw. Draw, draw. I'm going... Like, Paradise Druid costs two, where Imperius Perfect cost three, and I could have played Perfect. Not could have played Perfect as in played with no mistakes, but I could have played the Imperius Perfect. But I'm playing the Paradise Druid, so I have more mana for the next turn. Because for us, we're, we're, we basically have infinite cards with Banner and Beast Whisper. It's just how much mana can we have to unload our hand. We're not going to be running out of cards. Oh, baby. Um... If you still have a home, you should go there now. Cease aggressions and live. So it's not the most mana I could have this turn, but getting the Morrowind in play, next turn our turn's just going to be incredible. Like we're basically we're just going to have lethal next turn. The salmon has looked good. <laughs> was it the the simic? Was it like the simic uh, ramp flash? Joe with you know with like Nissa and and everything <laughs> this is stupid and I love it yeah this deck is sweet I hope Beardley doesn't concede and lets us go all out next turn because all out is what we're going to be going all right, here we go. Let's see. Let's lead with some perfects. Oh, no. Okay, did you press it something? My Twitch chat went away. The window closed. All right, it's back. So lead with these. Get more power on Marwyn. All right, I'm back in the chat now. First thing I can see is Whistle <laughs> saying, nice slideshow. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Only two more days after today. And then we'll have... We'll have new stream set up. New computer. We strike. 
strike now. All right, 15 mana. Start with Visionary. Draw three. It's two mana, draw three, plus put a huge creature into play. <laughs> Which is two mana, six, six, draw three. <laughs> All the lands. Oh yeah, Fauna Shaman has haste now, so we can activate it right away. So I guess that was an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, so it's a yeah, two mana, 8-8, eight, eight, haste, draw three. <laughs> it's true, it does have haste also. This is my turn six. I have 21 cards left in the library. So we play Paradise Druid because it can add mana. Because it has haste. Good, a Land War Elf. Land War Elf is free. Because it costs one, but it adds one. It's kind of crazy how many forests we've drawn. How many lands in general? Yeah, we need Kiora to untap Morrowind. We would be able to add... If we had Kiora untap Morrowind, we'd be able to add another 24 mana, 25 mana. Ugh, I ran out. Alright, I guess we gotta attack. And maximum hand size is 7. You'll need to discard 13 cards. Settle. <laughs> no, this is historic elves. Route sixty six. Good job, Hawkeye. Yeah, my, my hand was awesome, and my hand was really, really good, and Beardly mulled to five, so obviously, so that's that's what happens in Historic. It was kind of the same thing, how Beardly ran me over game one, when Beardly had the awesome hand. That deck's so much fun to play in, for Historic. GG's, Beardly. GG's. <laughs> Almost survived. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything like that. I don't have any crater hoof. I mean, I guess I have Samit. Samit's my crater hoof, basically. All right, let's see who wants to be the next person to play against me. If you're a subscriber, yeah, Beardly. I'm sorry about that. You're, you're mold of five. Yeah, both both of your your second game two wasn't good draw either. If you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat if you want to play next, if you've not played yet today. You can play standard or historic. That was historic, but you know, we're doing both, standard or historic, whichever one you want. If you win the giveaway or you know, if you're up next, let me know right away. Let me know if you want standard or historic right away. Cool, and we got more people in here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, you're all good. Uh, Kitas, I guess. We'll go with that. You're all good. 
All right, no problem, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, when you played your first historic game since ages, you got wrecked so hard by Settle. <laughs> no. All right, looks like everybody's in there. Let's see who's up next. Varchild, 2019. All right, Varchild, send me that gamer tag and let me know, standard or historic, what format do you want? Here's my gamer tag. There's yours, you sly fox. <laughs> Okay, why are you, why are you bumping the mic? You bumping the mic? You're the reason that that mic cord got broken before. All right, standard. Let's see what deck we're playing. We're so we're spinning a wheel to see what deck I'm playing. Uh, is it is it Flash? Is the deck that beat me for Team Chat? Mardu Dreadhorde. I was playing Grixis Amass when I lost. All right, so for, uh, you know, like we're not updating the decklist command. Every single deck is just too hard to go find all the decklists and everything. But I'm showing them here before each match. So here's Mardu Dreadhorde. So we're kind of playing a, a combo-ish deck with Command the Dreadhorde and Wanderer to prevent the damage to you. And we have, like, Cavalier Flame to go fill the graveyard up with a bunch of stuff. And, of course, Fires of Invention with Cavalier and Kenrith. So that's our deck. My sideboard isn't good. Yeah, my sideboard is not good. I, I don't like these cards in my sideboard, but... Oh well, these were the car these were the, the cards in the sideboard. This was a donation deck before. I remember we made the changes to the main deck, so we played it in best of one. But I didn't I didn't change anything in the sideboard. But here we go. Yeah, you just want me to pet you. Okay, you tried this one out. It's pretty fun. Nice. Ooh, Temple of Skrylance. Uh, I like Command the Dread Horde, but we're going to need other stuff first. The Grazer is so good against my Tithe Taker. I guess I could just not play Tithe Taker since I got these Clarions. Yeah, I probably should have just not played Tithe Taker. Ugh, Midnight Reaper. Rough. Yeah, Hawkeye is feeling better. His, rose, his nose isn't nearly as runny as it was a couple of days ago. Looks like he's starting to get over his cold. Well, that's good for me. Getting that thing out of here. I think this deck has like a lot of lands in it, I think. I could be wrong. But I feel like it does. There are some lands, finally. E. Well, that thing's scary. Ow.
Yeah, Hawkeye got the name from the Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah, the Iowa Hawkeyes. My heart beats in unison. That's what he's named wild. after. Vet row. Yeah, it was a college. I'd get out of the way if I were you. University. Um. Give all my creatures lifelink. Supposed to just go all out and kill the kill the Vivian. I guess I do. Let them have a really easy block, though. Huh. They had a really easy block of just chump blocking one of these things. Or like, you know, just killing Charming Prince or Tithe Taker with the Questing Beast. Because I had played my two spells already, so Fires and Vetched, I couldn't play any more spells. So they had a free block to like just kill, to just to like eat Charming Prince, for example. Ah, I didn't want to eat stuff. Fair enough, fair enough. Ugh. Another beast. Basically keeping these lands in hand because we could draw. Um, we could draw another Cavalier that can filter through them. I don't think Soren keeps me alive, does it? I Soren, go grab Charming Prince, gain three. I'm taking eight here. I'm going down to three. I gain three. I go to... Hmm. No, it's not keeping me alive. You're like, 
I guess, I mean, I guess I should be playing this because if we find, if we draw Kenrith, we'll want the two activations to gain 10 life. That's not good. But I will finish it. That's not good. I demand servitude. Give you some codes. I. Uh, these are the codes that I know so far. If you if you haven't used any of those codes. We're taking them all. We're gonna give them all haste. Give them haste. I survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Darn. I think I think Solar Blaze killed every single creature they played. It doesn't kill the O3. But I think it kills the rest. The tight thinkers don't really look great here. Maybe just play some solar blazes instead of some tight thinkers. Do our own Mask of Girl stuff. <laughs> okay. He just pokes his head up. Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute he is. So cute. Hmm. All right, keeping the fires, now we just need lands. This is a pretty cool Abzan deck, though. That Sly Fox is throwing down. No land drop? I don't know. Could clear obviously I could Clarion there. Basically Clarion is just destroy Paradise Druid. Yay, glad I waited. There I would have been sad as far as waiting goes, I would have been sad if the next card was Midnight Reaper. Um, the one billion code was about, it was, it was just a booster pack. That's what you got. I don't remember what it actually was, but I think it expired. I think it was a limited time thing. We just got a booster pack. Don't have three red for Cavalier. Hey, Labworks. Yeah, Magic is awesome. It's a game that's been around since 93. And just a ton of fun to play. And so, yeah, new player. Um, one thing I'd rec I recommend 
reading through this level one full course, if you're a new player there, it is four years old, but it was written by one of the one of Magic's best players. And And it's still just it's a just a really great reference on um, so many unique aspects on the game. <laughs> Time for a drink. All right, bye, Hawkeye. Well, I guess I could have. I guess I could have attacked first before activating Soren. Uh, Soren, because Soren could have minus and brought back that Cavalier. There. <laughs> this deck here is Mardu. Mardu Dreadhorde. Is what we were calling it. So, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus ten is nineteen. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Haste time. All right, looks good. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, Arena helped you understand the stack better. That's that's really good. Yeah, I, I definitely I've been playing Magic Online for, probably like I, been playing Magic Online a lot since for like the last like probably nine ten years, and probably about ten years now, yeah, and uh, and yeah that that definitely Magic Online definitely helped helped me learn the stack and really just learn the game. That's how I learned the game, and so Arena is very similar as well. I don't think I can keep a hand where nothing or five mana is the cheapest card. Probably cannot keep that hand. Well, now we got two mana, I guess. Where I need to hit land drops. But this is, of course, a super powerful hand of being able to have fires if we untap with fires and five mana playing Kenrith, Cavalier of Flame. Scratu. Um, neither of these are lands. Get rid of this. But this thing helps you hit land drops. Hmm. So I'd have to shock, go to 15 to play Midnight Reaper. I guess so. That just could draw us multiple cards. Zombie Knight. You don't usually see human nobles and zombie knights teaming up. But you do here. No, like, no, it, ma magic's the exact same whether you're playing arena, magic online, paper, all, all of that. It's all the exact same game. 
there are there are different types um like there are different formats is what they called like where you can play standard where certain cards are legal and standard or you can play modern and more cards are legal or legacy vintage one of those is commander or edh that's played in paper and that for commander you get to play it's a hundred card deck instead of with uh, the constructed formats you're playing 60 cards don't be surprised if we meet again so that's basically just putting midnight reaper down to the bottom or, you know if we scratch it to the bottom because you know we just drew that that next card anyway oh my gosh where's the lands at Where are these lands at? Yep, it's the mode you play that limits the legality of the cards and and everything. Yep. An unfortunate casualty. But like this is standard here on arena. Standard on arena is the same as standard in paper and standard in everywhere else this is crazy pain is weakness leaving the body All right, finally, there's one land. I think Varchild's just sitting, probably sitting on artifact and enchantment removal over here. I think that'd be pretty reasonable to assume. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. <laughs> what a mess I've made. All right, JJ, take care. You should fear those born of darkness. Also, I'm not supposed to block and just take the five and then I block the next turn because you know now I don't have I don't have protection from the Soren just getting back the five four giving the five four haste attacking my Soren Embrace the bloodlust. It is kind of rough going down that low on my side and this does make them spend one of their green mana. So I don't know. I guess if they spend their green mana to give it haste, they can't give trample though, so I get I get to just block. So that's good. Yeah, so this works out. Temple, you're killing me. An unfortunate casualty. There we go. That's a good land. Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess it's not that good of a land, is it? I was going to do Kenrith Haste.
But I guess they have the Love Struck Beast that just blocks it anyway. Vampirism is a useful trait. So I liked putting that one land in there. Do a little bit of damage here. It's just one damage though, but it's a little bit of damage. Everyone is expendable. Hey Escurio. No, my Soren. Looks like we're not flying anymore. At least we're not, or at the very least, we're not Soren. Obviously, I'm playing this thing. Just do I want to play Charming Prince or not? Or do I want to just cycle it away? I'll play it. Gain some life. I abhor my need for blood. Because I, I can get back the Cavalier, of course. I could have rummaged it away. Oh. Boo. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. So I need a six land. Okay, we got the six land. Now I need that planeswalker. What's that planeswalker called? The Wanderer? That's what I need. I need the Wanderer. I won't forgive this. We need to draw the Wanderer. If we draw the Wanderer, it's game. We did not draw the Wanderer. Nine, go down to two. I have come for vengeance and blood.
this will let us, you know, like this, they have lifelink now because of Soren, so we're going to be gaining 14 life again here. Maybe I should have just got back Midnight Reaper here first. Yeah, I was gaining enough life. I didn't need to get back Charming Prince. I should have just grabbed Midnight Reaper first. Kind of did that too fast. I was kind of planning on getting Charming Prince. Okay. I guess this also this also gave me the option where if they did not kill if they did not block and kill a cavalier time for a drink. Then I got to kill the Vivian. So I, that's that's the big thing cuz if a cavalier died then we would have dealt one damage to the Vivian. But now with the cavalier not dying. So yeah, it, it was good to not do anything with the Soren. Survived worse than you. Oh yeah, I guess I, I could have trampled the Cavaliers with the Kenrith. I kind of forgot about that part. I was kind of focused on gaining gaining life, but that's true. I could have trampled and killed the Soren. That's a good call. Could have definitely done that. All right, now we did. No, don't kill my Kenrith. Kenrith, no. Can we draw the Wanderer, please? Please draw the Wanderer. No, no Wanderer. Hmm. I 
Guess we just do the same thing we did before. I will have revenge for House Markov. More Kenrads. You belong to me now. Yeah, these swings are ridiculous. We're about to gain all the life in the world again. I don't have to worry too much about the Midnight Reaper doing damage to me. With stuff dying, I mean, not only am I gaining a lot of life, but the Midnight Reaper has lifelink. So, like, it's doing damage to me and it has lifelink. So I don't actually take damage. So, like, I'm going to stay at 35. Ooh. And now 35 with Command the Dread Horde. Obviously, the only reason why I was in this game is, is obviously because of the fires letting me cast so many things and act and use all my mana with activating and while casting. I, I've spent so much mana this game, it's pretty ridiculous. This was a crazy game. Wanderer! There are two kinds of mages. Those all right, we get to command for them all with the Wanderer in play. Just get them all. Get them all. Uh, I'll keep my sword. <laughs> we'll just gain life. And now I can destroy the fires and I can still play more things if I want to. My bye bye now. I grow bored with this fight. I 
I'd get out of the way if I were you. Oh, that was not good auto tap. Stop tapping both red sources. I should have been able to activate one more time, but I miss auto tapped. <laughs> what a mess I've made. That should have been closer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Should have done another 14. Should have, could have been 87. Oh well. <laughs> Solar Blaze to flex. Yeah, we could have solar blaze because it would have been prevented. We could have prevented the damage with the wanderer. Would have just gained. We would have just gained so much life if I would have solar blazed because the like all of my creatures having life link. <laughs> yeah, three command the dread hordes. That's yeah. That's that's the deck, Marty Dreadhord. That's the deck. Yeah, we we drew the combo also with the wanderer there. Yeah, more damage than Elf Ball. We just played like two Elf Ball decks back to back. Yeah, got exact, exact lethal. Exact lethal. Okay. That was a crazy game though, Varchild. That was an awesome game, GG's. Um, I, I just, just, you know, I got, I got to keep that second fires in play for too long and got to just do too much activations, but it was so close and that was pretty sweet. All right. If, if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play against me, type the word battle into the chat. I'm going to reset arena while y'all are do doing that. Got basically an hour left in our sub battle stream here for tonight. Then remember tomorrow I'm going to be doing an earlier stream starting at one o'clock Eastern instead of three. Tomorrow is our Sunday matinee stream just starting early. Going to be doing a lot of best of one tomorrow. Um, because I think best of one is better on the computer. Hey, <laughs> you're, you're all good. You're all good pirate. And we can do standard or historic. So if we choose, if you get chosen to play, let me know if you want standard or historic. All right, but let's go ahead and, and move on. We have Adam. All right, Adam, send me that gamer tag. What do you want to play, standard or, or historic? There's my gamer tag. Extended. Okay, let's spin the wheel. What am I playing? All right, all three Grixis decks that were on the board got chosen. Grixis midrange this time. Of course, make sure you change it to best of three. Grixis Midrange. This is what Grixis Midrange looks like. Ooh, gotta move back down to 1080 so it doesn't lag as much. But basically we get to play Robber the Rich Kind of be aggressive with Robber the Rich and then Royal Scions. Help it get through. If we're playing Robber the Rich, Thief of Sanity, Royal Scions going. Oh, smaller Grixis deck. Grixis creature stuff. The deck I just played. Um. I'll find that one for you.
This is the deck I just played. Oh no! So yeah, just just relog in, Adam. Adam's game crashed. There's no timer. But I also so yeah. Ruben, I also played the the version at the very end of that video. If you kind of, I guess, if you go to the end of the video, I I we talk about making changes to the deck, and so I I played the the deck with the changes that we made afterwards at the end of that video. So I guess I didn't play the the exact deck list that was in that video. There we go. Quench. <clears throat> I've been getting pretty fortunate, Scary Girl, today for sure. Bad Spectral Sailor. I guess I can't change the adventure border for the other one. I tried to do that right before this. Streamer's luck. I guess maybe I should have Tyrant Scorned. Maybe I should have Tyrant Scorned that because the Bone Crusher Giant could kill the Frilled Mystic. I was kind of too focused on the Bone Crusher resolving, which I certainly wanted it to do. Okay, a cutthroat. Cutthroat's not too scary. Yet. That's a lot of forests. Two.
Sorry. Attack. Yeah, Adam drew pretty pretty poorly. So many lands. And Mulligan also. Mulligan and then drew eight lands. So, of course, Thief of Sanity. Found all their spells. <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm sabotaging if I'm not sabotaging that thing that draws more cards. We have a pretty decent anti-flash deck here. As you see, just basically everything costing one, two, or three mana. If I take out Nickel Bolas and Rankle, and, and these cards all being pretty decent in this kind of matchup too. I mean, Paragon has Flash, though. Yeah, maybe I'll just play a Royal Scions. Can I fit more Royal Scions in here? Is Royal Science better than Thief of Sanity? Probably not. <laughs> this is like LeBron playing pickup with little kids. Okay, it's not it's not that bad. Chat team chat has beaten me before. There was one of these sub battle streams where I, I lost team chat, got like 10 wins, and I got like 7 or 8. Um. Yeah, I could just look for a Grixis. Mid range, standard. Where is the stack? There we go. Found it. Here's the deck. I'm playing the updated version at the end of that video. Brazen Barber is going to do a lot of damage to me. 
Maybe I should have just shocked in again and played the Bone Crusher Giant. I don't have a good answer here. Hey, what's up, Press? Yeah. Yeah, we got the music over here. Um... I don't want to land, but I think I want the gain one life. I probably should just be putting that back. So I was thinking, so that puts me to 8, a Noxious Grass would put me to 9, this would put me to 10. So if if Adam plays two green creatures that we get to kill, we can basically get another turn. That's probably just not even good enough. I probably should have just got rid of that caves. Green creature? Not green creature. Oh, nice penguin. Thanks for coming on over from uh, from YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah, the leaders of the dark. I think I think that person is wearing sunglasses. <laughs> it does look like it. Yeah, so I I need to play the Bone Crusher Giant on turn three. Need a shock in for it. At least keep the brace. Even if it got countered there, it would keep the brazen and borrower back for a turn. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure Rocket. Hmm. Enhance fine. Mana base isn't. Yeah, with a with gold, um yeah, either buying packs or spending your gold to draft. Those are really your only two options. Either option's fine. Dra yeah, I, I think drafting is better if you like drafting, and drafting is, is a great way to get better at magic, too. So I, I'm going to just keep the dragon fire here to kill the 2-1. Yeah, you can spend your gold to get this dragon too. That's probably not that's not the best use of gold. Pretty safe to say.
This is a loaded hand right here. We're going to take the card that's the two for one. I guess that's the only card that I have Noxious Grass to deal with for now, but Noxious Grass will probably do something else later. Um, that's, oh, no, belly beer. That's not, that's not correct. M20 does not stay in standard longer than the other sets. M20, it, right now, um, the, the latest set, what's it called? Throne of Eldrain. Throne of Eldrain is going to stay, is going to stay in standard for a year longer than any of the other sets in standard right now. Yeah, the basically it's the fall set to the core set. So the the last fall set of returned or whatever the last fall set was called. Um, not Throne of Eldraine, but the one before. Uh, Guilds of Ravnica. So Guilds of Ravnica to M twenty, all four of those sets will rotate out this upcoming whenever the next fall set is released in like October of the next year. So October of 2020. Yeah. So that's Guilds of Ravnica to M20. So now Throne of Eldraine, basically, basically the, the fall sets start like a, a year of sets. So now Throne of Eldraine is the next year of sets. So Throne of Eldraine into to like the next core set, like core set 2021, that will all like, so Throne of Eldraine will rotate until the fall of 2021. Basically the fall set stays in standard for two years. And it's really the set that's making the beginning of a new year. Hopefully that makes sense. Those are some night pack ambushers. Let's counter one right now. And I have the noxious grass for the other where we can use our mana better. Good draw. It's a two for one. But so is my Murderous Riders and Bone Crusher Giants are all two for ones also.
Is there a tier one or two mill deck? Um, we played an Esper Mill in, in best of one like a week ago. We played the same deck. Was this a brazen borrower? Bouncing this thing? Played that same deck in best of three a month ago, basically. No, four royal scions are not absolutely necessary, no. This deck here was also was built on a for like a donation deck of playing with the idea of wanting to play um for Robber the Rich, for Thief of Sanity, for Royal Scions. That was the backbone of this deck. But it doesn't have to necessarily be built like this. Like the the Robber of the Rich in particular is probably not necessary. No, this is Grixis mid-range that we, that we just got done playing. I did just have that one up somewhere. Here we go. This was the this is the Grixis mid-range and, and the list that we did at the end of that, that one. That's what we just got done playing there. <clears throat> All right, GG's there, Adam. GG's. All right, let's see who's who would like to be next. Man, I am just on such a hot streak today. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, if you're a subscriber, though, and you want to play, we got about 40 minutes left. So two or three more people. So type the word battle into the chat. Just like, like a boss did. No, Adam, you're all good. You're all good. Good games there. I think that was I think that deck that I was just playing is a good deck against Flash though. I had just all of my cards cost one, two, or three mana. And so I had a lot of cheap interaction and, and instant speed threats and a lot of two for ones. I think that was just a tough matchup for you there. That's that's kind of what's been happening with me today. I've I've been getting a lot of good matchups. That happens. Yeah, that deck could definitely use another wrinkle. That'd be fine. Yep. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, if you don't have the fourth row of scions, that's a good choice. Wrinkle's good. All right, is everybody in there? Only got a couple of people in here for wanting to play next. If you're a sub and you want to, to play, type the word battle. Just got a few people. But I'm going to keep it going, though. Ooh. All right. Here we go. We're going to choose like a boss. There it is. It it was. There you go. You had a had a 1 in 4 shot there. Got it. So you've been a sub for 5 months. Got your first time chosen. That's awesome. All right. Send me that gamer tag boss. And what what format do you want to play? All right. Well, there's There's the gamer tag. Oh, did you? Oh, were you Ken Pachi before? And did you change your Twitch name? And then also, what what format do you want to play? Standard. All right, standard. Here we go. I always like saying Ken Pachi. That's fun to say. Ken Pachi. Ken Pachi. All right, I got Orzhov value coming up. 
All right, so let's take a look at this Orzhov value deck. And then make sure make sure you change yours to best of three. This this third line. Don't change anything else. Just change this to best of three. It's been a minute since we've played Orzhov value. <laughs> Handicap idea, I can't sideboard. See, so yeah, this is our Orzhov value. It's all about the ETB effects. Charming Prince, Flicker, all the discard stuff. Get to Oketra. Get a bunch of sweet five drops. Soren bringing everything back. This is a cool deck. Yeah, we're basically mono black. So this is a good hand. We get to start with Fenlurker and then flicker it with Charming Prince. Then if it dies, bring it back. Very good hand. <laughs> a better handicap is I gotta just concede game one and then I gotta win games two and three no problem like a boss no problem probably be like play game one so I can at least see what I'm supposed to sideboard against and then concede game two and then Try to win game three. <laughs> All right, Drug Wizards calling this one for team chat. Yep, that's 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 what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have my opponents disconnect. That's my that's my game plan. That's how I'm winning. And then they re-log and it's rah, rah. and their hand suddenly terrible. I was just over there like, you know, giving them all lands or no lands over here. While well, they're trying to connect, I like pick up the deck and give them a really bad hand, put it back. Rap rap. All right. Temple. I like that card a lot. If we had four lands, I'd be keeping it for sure. But I don't like keeping a four drop when you have three lands. I don't think that's a very good thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't whisper those letters at my computer. It would. It would catch fire. <laughs> the old modem glitch on Halo Two. All right, what do we exile? A Foul Mire Knight. Oh, that Clover is pretty lucky. That's a really lucky clover. Alright, that's fine. 
could pump the the Fen Lurker to keep it alive, but it's actually kind of valuable to ha have it in my graveyard because of the Soren. <laughs> I need something else to get me through the semi-charmed kind of prints. Ugh. Two life. Good thing I let my creature die. So the Murderous Rider doesn't get to resolve. Markov. Alright, we'll do some Skrizzles. Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to play Oketra so bad. We don't have five mana, though. I guess I could just keep it and just try to draw land at some point. I don't know. This is probably not a great idea. Veil of Summer. No Veil of Summer. Hey, Rochino, doing good. No, not a 12-hour stream. We're just doing the sub, regular sub-battle stream. We got about half hour left. <laughs> yeah, Veil of Summer's banned. It is. That was. That's what I was joking about. Uh, Soren can only do damage to players and planeswalkers, so I cannot do damage to these 1-1 one -one tokens. It's kind of difficult for my opponent to cast, like, Murderous Rider is going to be tough to, to like, play the Swift End part, because that's six life. That's a lot of life. All right, they're going to do it. Down to five. Down to three. Three. Land. I should keep this Eurox Fenlurker around to be able to sacrifice to the Cavalier of Night. Cavalier of Night with Charming Prince. You can do some neat party tricks there. You know, like you sack your cavalier, or you sack your charming prince to the cavalier of night. You have Soren bring back charming prince to flicker the cavalier, which can sack the charming prince again. You can do some pretty cool party tricks there. I'll just get rid of this Marvis Rider. We got it. Like, this thing can be removal. This thing can be removal. Unfortunately, Oketra does not have Trample. So 
though. It's a, it's a slow burn against a whole bunch of 1-1s. One -one no, so, yeah, so I qualified for the... So it's the Mythic Championship qualifier is what I qualified for. I didn't qualify for the actual Mythic Championship. I qualified for the qualifier. But in the qualifier, I did not do well enough to get qualified for the Mythic Championship. I hope that makes sense. Alright, I just wanted to clear out that card from their hand. Um, ooh, that's a good one. Destroy this thing. Uh, maybe, actually, I should probably be killing the Edgewall Innkeeper, shouldn't I? What do I have here? I have a Charming Prince. Nah, yeah, I should kill the 5-5. Five five. Because I get to just like, attack with all this stuff. Oh, didn't block Oketra? Whoops. Okay. So Legion's End does seem like a pretty decent card here. Yeah, we got to just stop the Innkeeper, don't we? I think we're going to take out Cavalier of Dawns. That's really to deal with permanents that I can't deal with otherwise. Which, this deck could be playing... Our opponent's deck could be playing... Ooh, this could be a good card. Could be playing the Great Henge, which I would need Cavalier of Dawn to deal with, but that's really the one thing. Hmm. Kai's Wrath does seem pretty sweet. That's the thing, is like I want to play the Citadel and this Command the Dread Horde and some Kaya's Rats. But I probably shouldn't Probably shouldn't play all those. Or should I? I mean Noxious Grasp, perfectly reasonable too. Huh. I have tons of good cards here. Yeah, we have lots and lots of good cards here. I don't know. I guess I just won't do too much sideboarding. The deck looked pretty good that last game. Um, I don't really have any Christmas wishes.
Yeah, I don't really have any Christmas wishes. Like, what do I want for Christmas? Like, Maybe just... I don't know. Patreon page? Yeah, maybe more people join the Patreon page. We have like 60 Patreons now. Which is certainly good. I don't know. I would have said like those those sleeves, but I, I just got like the, the brand new sleeves. That's what I would have said before I, I got those. Before I, I went and got them off eBay. As you'll know, like I would have said like those seven. Like a code for those sleeves. Got rid of the casualties of war. That's pretty big. Uh, you want to switch with Fire Emblem? That's really good. I mean, I guess I would. I mean, I would love a. Is it? I guess PlayStation Four. Is that the system? Because they have the the remake of Resident Evil Two, and they're gonna have the remake of Final Fantasy Seven. That'd be cool. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna triple block. Nah. I guess I need to pressure this Frasca. I guess this Frasca is gonna ultimate pretty soon. Oh, they're coming out with a PS5, like, next year? Okay. I mean, I like my Switch. I That's the thing. I don't really want, like, a ton of game systems. I just wish they... Just, basically, I just wish they would have made those games for the... I wish they would have made those for the Switch also. I don't really want like a whole new game system. You can play the Resident Evil 2 on the PC? Nice. Well, yeah, we're getting that brand new PC. Maybe I need to start playing PC games. Uh, I think it. I think the FF7 remake may be on the Xbox also. I'm not sure though. Yeah, Breath. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is that's it's such an incredible game. It's pain is our game. So yeah, if you're wondering if the Switch is worth it, yeah, Breath of the Wild. That game's incredible. Man, now I get a Citadel. Try harder than that. I 
require your body, not your soul. Oh, really? You didn't like Breath of the Wild, Subisak? Oh man, I love that game. The only thing I didn't like is is the really the only thing I didn't like was the final boss, like the ending. I thought the final boss was way way too easy. I wish there was like. I mean, there is a harder difficulty setting, and I played it, played through it on the harder difficulty setting also. But still, it was too easy. Its loss will serve us. But it's not, I hope that's, I, I don't think that's giving away too much, I don't think. And I guess one other thing about the final boss, hopefully this isn't giving away too much, but there's there's just different forms in the final boss. That's just kind of a video game staple, you know, like, final boss is having different forms. I'm not going to say anything about them, just, like, what they are, just there's one of them that is a lot easier than it should be. <laughs> that stinks. What a mess I've made. No, I don't like that. No, I've never heard. No, I don't know anything about Stardew Valley. What's that? Yeah, that's that's Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Why didn't the Why didn't the shrines count as like dungeon puzzles? Like the shrines were puzzle. Were very puzzly. So what is what is Stardew Valley? What kind of game is that? I don't know what Harvest Moon is either. Well, the shrines got more difficult. They weren't just all one room. Like they got they got more difficult. But I I could see I could see what you're saying now. Okay, in the way. They can't really block with the 1-1. One, one. If they do, they don't get to attack with the Lovestruck Beasts. But all right, I guess they don't mind not attacking with the Lovestruck Beasts. Okay, it's a farming game. Oh man, we're going crazy now. That's too risky going any lower. Play The Witcher 3. Witcher has like that Netflix show coming out, right? With the computer parts that I ordered, they did come with um, some kind of like code for 
for like Borderlands, for Borderlands three, which I played Borderlands two on like my friends, like I played like with a friend of mine. I'd like go over to his place and we'd play some Borderlands two on his. I don't know, Xbox or PlayStation or whatever at the time, like, you know, eight years ago or whatever that was, six years ago, whatever that was. It's okay, like a boss, it is a good game. All right, we're going to have time for one more. So I'm kind of excited about that. One more, here we go. If you want to be the... The last person to play. Yeah, because I remember, like, Borderlands 2, I really liked it because there was just so many things to unlock and so many achievements and that kind of stuff. And it was just... that, So that was really cool. That's what I really liked with it. There was just so much stuff to unlock and, and everything. I guess I could, yeah, I guess, I mean, I could learn to, to stream other games and stuff like that, too. I guess. No, just the one, just the one time, like a boss, so, so we can get other, other people, so everybody has a chance. Paulin, resubbing here for the third month. Thank you so much there, Paulin. Uh, so vampires and historic, it's going to cost you 14 rares and four mythic wild cards. Well, the thing is, is Jopsy, like you don't have to really worry, like with, honestly, that may be worth it playing vampires and historic and just like really learning your vampire historic deck. Because the thing is, is historic's not going to change like as fast as standard changes, you know, like in standard, like some things are, are good and then, um, and then like things happen in the metagame and then you want to play other other th other decks are good and, and so on you like the metagame fluctuates a lot historic is going to be really slow moving because not only is like with it having nine sets plus like that the supplemental thing it's um like one new set entering into that just makes it the 10th set so like a new set is only going to be 10 percent of the card pool where in standard it only has five sets right now a new set you know bumps it up and and you know it's a lot more of the card pool so that's one thing. Also, historic the the decks don't rotate in historic, right? So like they're you know in in a year you can still be playing your vampire deck. So you know you, you get a whole lot more use out of it than standard with it like that. And then finally, right now like they're not really posting successful historic decks like Wizards isn't. You know like they post all the five O deck lists like on Magic Online and stuff. They don't post the deck list for Arena. So it's also just going to be a slow moving format like that, like where people aren't really getting all of like the latest technology of the stuff that's doing really well. So, you know, if you want to like if you if you really want to find like a like the market inefficiency of like how can you use the least amount of like wild cards and do well over a really long amount of time, if you just kind of like find a historic deck that you like and really play it a lot, tune it a lot, you know, like do that, like you can get a deck like that you're ranking up that you're not really having to use more wow cards on over time no i didn't buy any of the secret layers no i don't really collect the physical cards anymore i i just play arena now i did get the all the sleeves though i did get a coat so i got all the sleeves for arena here now all right anyway here we go last person who is it going to be it's rochian all right rochian you are up all right do you want standard or historic rochian Tell me which format do you want, and then also send me the gamer tag. So whichever format will decide which wheel I spin to pick out the deck. Ooh, I got a 750 one. I just realized that. Standard. Okay. Let's spin the wheel. Wars off Troll Knights. Oh, that's awesome. What a deck to end it on. Wars off Troll Knights. Probably my signature deck right now.
Here we go. This is the Orzhov Troll Knights. Correct. Yeah, it's still... Yeah, they... As far as I know, they got rid of, like, the... Um, all right, yeah, make sure you're on best of three, Rochian. So, like, this line right here, change that to best of three. You don't have to change anything else. Just change best of three. <laughs> yeah, wait to end the, the night. Get it? The night? Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so I think that... Yeah, they said there was going to be two to one wild card redemption ratio, and then people got mad about that, and they, they changed it. And so I think it's just always going to be one to one. I don't... Yeah, I think it's I think it's just one to one now. <laughs> Change make sure you're at best of three. Um you're you need a you know it should just be challenge map. You know, don't change anything else. Just change it to best of three. Right here. Do you see the options? So it should look like. Well, then hit start. Okay, there we go. Man, my hand's good, too. Okay. Get some Jeskai Fires. Midnight Reaper is pretty important here because of Clarion. Clarion is just awesome against my deck. You know, we're just a small creature deck go, trying to go wide with Worthy Knight, so... <clears throat> Clarion's a huge problem, but at least Midnight Reaper... makes it hurt less. It still hurts, but it hurts less. You be down to watch me stream other video games? Right on schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. It's kind of a tough choice of what's how to follow this up. I guess the most pressure is Worthy Knight than Black Lance Paragon. <clears throat> but I think it's probably better to save Black Lance Paragon, honestly. Could also go Soren and have the Soren deal one damage. Saving Blacklands Paragon, because if they block with Sphinx, then I can... I can use the Paragon for Death Touch. So we're just going to play the troll. Oh, that's annoying. Yes. 
New hand. How do I want to do this now? Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. <laughs> Time. So we can get the Soren down, that's just gonna help me gain a lot of life. To help out with all that life that I just lost. And not only do we get the life link, but then also <clears throat> we have them attacking the Soren. Yeah, Boot, we were just, so Boot, you just, just joined us, we were just talking about other games and stuff, and people saying they would like, they would like me to, to see me stream other games, like, on the computer, some also, so maybe we could get that set up, you can show me how to do that kind of, that kind of thing, because I do not know how to do that kind of thing. What a mess I've made. But I guess it shouldn't be too difficult. Gonna give this thing haste. Oh, I should have played this first to get the extra creature. I didn't play it first because I was thinking that maybe they would give it haste to, to attack, but yeah, they're not not giving it haste. Um. Oh, what happened? Oh no, my tr my troll. Oh yeah, my troll's exiled under here. That was kind of my plan: is go get the troll. Well, I guess we're just going to do this then. <laughs> I 
with the parts because we were talking with the parts that I ordered. I think I have. I think it came with like a free copy of Borderlands Three. But it's kind of confusing. I'm not sure if it does or not. I think it does. But I'm not sure. All right, so I was pretty fortunate there was no fires of invention. I made it a lot easier to win that. Do I want citadels? Possible I don't. Like, the Jeskai deck hits super hard. I probably do. We'll play two Citadel, two Absolution, and I'm going to cut Knight of the Ebon Legion. That doesn't seem right. Cut one Troll. thing is, like, Paragon's, like, a pretty decent blocker. Maybe Worthy Knight's not as good with all these Clarions and Sweepers and stuff. We'll do that. Um, yeah, Bone Crusher. It kind of depends on what your curve looks like. If Bone Crusher is better than Shock in a red Cavalcade aggro deck. Ugh, okay, you end away. It kind of kind of matters what your curve is. If you need the one mana card. Or not. Thwack the penguin with the tier one sub. Thank you so much there, penguin. Hmm. Probably want to keep that. Rant. Thanks, Penguin. That's our 16th sub of the day. Need to update that. Oh, that thing's rough. I like drawing multiple cards. I have all these Midnight Reapers for a reason. I have practiced to hone your prowess. No, fires, no. Oh, they scry to the top and then did Narset. They need to do the Narset first, of course. So, welcome to the channel, Scintilla. Huh. Thank you so much, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. It's definitely better to play, like, you know, Citadel is pretty valuable, but. Okay, I didn't want them just to counter my Citadel, basically. I was worried about that. They would just have, like, Dovin's Veto. Now I don't have to be as worried about that, and now we also have the extra land that we can play.
Oh, well, thanks, Antilla. Happy to have you here. They probably just have all the... All the five drops in the world. With the four lands. I mean, disparking the fires of invention was pretty big. Yeah, I had I had a couple of YouTube. Yeah, we had, we had a YouTube viewer today came in and said they didn't they didn't realize it about uh, subscribing for free with if they had Twitch Prime or like if they have Amazon Prime then they get Twitch Prime and then you can get the. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. Okay, there's nothing to minus. I can't see this part because because of Hawkeye, I can't see. <laughs> Hawkeye's like, what, you, you saying something about me? You talking about me? There they go. I mean, that's a start. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, Escurrier. See how he says you have Twitch Prime? There's a Liliana deck that you can get for free with Twitch Prime right now. And then, yeah, yeah, and Escurrier Dark. There you go. Yeah, you get to sub su sub with Twitch Prime. It's Thank you so much. Yeah, you... So, yeah, you get a free... Yeah, you get to do that for free each month. It doesn't resub for you. You have to do it every month if you'd like to sub. You know, it's... It's nothing that... It's not an automatic thing. I demand servitude. But, now you get now you get the tie in chat, the tie badge in chat, and you get access to all of the... All of the awesome emotes. Citadel, yeah, Citadel is 10 non-land permanents. It doesn't count lands. So, like, these lands don't count. So, we don't, we don't have 10 non-land permanents. Yeah, we haven't been getting a whole lot of lands in a row on top, but we should be able to finish this out at some point. We're, it's just a kind of a matter of when, not if, for right now. So yeah, so thank you so much, Oscario. That's our 18th sub of the day, too. So now we're two away. So yeah, so thanks for that support. That's using that free sub for me. It's the exact same as somebody using a five dollar sub. There's no difference on my end. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do a PSA every single video about it, but that is probably a PSA that I need to do more often. Oh, I guess I had... 
Oh, I had lethal if I would have just... If I would have just played this as a 2-3. Because then, then I would have had the Citadel kill. Hey, Vance! Your favorite sub is the turkey sub? Thanks for that resub there, Vance. Number 19. So we're only one away from the next sub goal. So the sub goals, of course, I do a 12 hour stream whenever we hit enough of them, whenever we get to 20 sub goals. More stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Uh, play this, I go to three? Probably shouldn't play it. I mean, obviously it doesn't matter. Obviously. I want to see like how many creature like how many creatures I can get out total. All right, we're going down to 3. Azada, sub goal it is. More stuff. The weak feed the strong. All right, and of course I I cannot sack my regular creatures because of Midnight Reaper. We'll just sack 10 extra tokens. GG's. Yeah, yeah. Acclaimed Contender gets to grab Bola Citadel. It's pretty sweet because it's a legendary artifact. Perfect. And we got to the sub goal at the end of the night there. Perfect. So two more sub goals. GG's, Rochian. GG's. Yeah, grabbing acclaimed contender, grabbing Citadel and the Great Henge, those cards like that's it's pretty awesome. Oh, I know you got stuck on four lands there. Oh, it's so rough. You had all those five drops in hand and four lands, and like your twenty-seven land deck. Yeah, fifteen and one today. Used up all my luck tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna probably lose all the matches. And then people Four are going to be like, why are you losing there. all your matches? Oh, and we'll so... be like, because I used all my luck today. So let's see. So that sub goal is number 15 and 16 that we hit today towards the next 12-hour stream. And like I said, we're doing one whenever we hit 20. So now we're four sub goals away from our next 12-hour stream, which should be whenever we have the next, the, you know, we'll do that also. You know, it'll, it'll be after we get the new computer. So, um, <laughs> subs... Sub slaughter Saturday? No, sub battle Saturday. Hey, flourishing weirdo. Actually, that's that's it for tonight. We're just finishing up. But basically, all you have to do is just be a subscriber, and then and then uh, we pick a random subscriber. I guess the, I think there's a command for it. But sorry about that, flourishing weirdo. But we just finished up. Um, yeah, I could have died to Reaper for the content. There you go. Tomorrow, so. Uh, tomorrow and Monday, I'm planning on doing a lot of best of one. We're going to be doing best of one in standard and historic. I'll be making fun best of one decks for sure, you know, but you get to do some more crazy stuff in best of one anyway. So we get to do some more interesting fun decks. We're going to be doing that um, because I think best of one is going to be better just for, for this computer anyway, where we don't have the long drawn out best of three matches. Um, so we should be having some quicker matches and hopefully the lag problems won't be as bad. So that's my plan for tomorrow and Monday. And then Tuesday, I'm taking off. Uh, Tuesday, the, the case, the computer case will come in. I have all the parts for the computer except for the case. The case got delayed. So I'll have the case on Tuesday. And, um, and so I'll be taking off Tuesday and I'll be building the computer all on Tuesday. 
Um, also, taking Hawkeye into the vet because you were sick, but you don't really seem like you're sick anymore. But Hawkeye had a vet appointment on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, hopefully brand new computer. Hopefully I have all, everything set up and everything ready to go um, with the stream and everything like that. So that, that'll be Wednesday. All right, but that's it here for the sub battle stream. So those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And thank you so much for watching. Hawkeye, say thank you. <laughs> Bye, have a great night. I'll see you for the next video.